Hey guys, it's Ruri and today I'm going to be doing a um, kind of replica as such of the flight test which is going to launch in, uh, well it's actually going to be probably today so you might see this before the vid before it uh, actually gets launched but you know, um, yeah it's kind of relevant with uh, the time at the moment so yeah, this is the launcher, the Delta IV launcher which is going to be taking the first flight test of the Orion spacecraft that is, um, it's unmanned at this point and they're just taking it into orbit to do some tests on a few different things which I'll talk about in a minute. So there you go, the first stage separated. It kind of exploded a bit, but that's just Kerbal Space Program, I guess. And uh, the second stage started, which is a, another mainsail. There were three mainsails um, I used. And uh, yeah, that's kind of it looks kind of similar, works in a similar way, but it's not quite the same as the actual uh, rocket that's being used today or whenever it is that's going to be um, flight tested if everything goes well, which hopefully it will. Um, so the one that's actually being flight tested doesn't have this end stage here in the same way. It uses a like a less a different stage. This is the one that's going to be on the final Orion like spacecraft, the kind of service module for the final Orion spacecraft. But uh, you know I just put that in to make it look cooler because the other one didn't look as good and wouldn't have worked as well in KSP, it would have been a bit harder to build. But anyway, um, that aside, I decided to um, to replicate it in KSP to a certain degree of um, to a certain degree of accuracy, but not necessarily exactly the same because that's not really possible anyway. So this isn't the final launcher that's going to be used in the last one. Then the last, uh, the, the, the one that goes to the moon, which it hopefully will. If you don't know, the Orion spacecraft is going to hopefully go to the moon, and or I think it's in 2017. It's planned to go around the moon, and then it might go further than that, like to Mars, that kind of thing later on. So we'll see. Um, but uh, yeah, the launcher that was on this rocket that I replicated is then the one that's going to be launching today or whenever, you know, depending on when you see this video, it may have already launched. But uh, that one will be launching with the Delta IV, as I said, but the actual uh, one that will go to the moon will be launching with the Space Launch System, the SLS, which is um, a kind of wider um, base rocket with, uh, I think it's four, two or four solid rocket boosters, um, but I think, I think it might be two, one on each side. Um, it's not four, like, split evenly around it if it is four, but I think it's just two. Um, so yeah, that's, you may have seen that, the space launch stage that NASA made. It's, well, it's called the SLS, I think it's space launch stage. Um, or space launch system or something like that. Anyway, and uh, yeah, so you can see in the video, basically I took this thing out to quite a high orbit up. And that was because in the test that they're doing tomorrow, they're actually going to be testing the radiation shielding um, so that when they send humans up and they go through the sort of radiation barriers which are held in by the Earth's electromagnetic field, um, hopefully it won't, you know, kill the humans because of that. And uh, then we take it back down. And the other thing that they're testing is the re-entry, you know, the heat shield. And apparently I read somewhere it was going to reach 80% of the temperature that it would reach if it was coming back from the moon. So it goes quite far out to reach that kind of speed and temperature. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I'm sorry for the kind of delay with videos. I was, first of all, thinking of ideas and I tried out a few things which I didn't think worked too well. So I'll hopefully be back to some KSP stuff and maybe some other stuff sometime soon. But uh, yeah, I'll keep going with the KSP for now. And uh, yeah, so I hope you liked the video. I hope it was a bit of fun, a bit interesting. I'll put some links about the Orion in the description. So yeah, as I said, thanks for watching and have a nice day.